Hey, what's going on guys? Alright, so I absolutely despise doing videos in the house. Um, number one, the lighting in here just kind of sucks. And uh, number two, I just prefer doing everything outside. But today that's not in the cards and I really kind of wanted to share something with you guys today. I guess I could do this in the backyard, but it's nice outside and the neighbor's wiener dogs are in full force and I have a feeling that they're going to try to eat me through the fence and I just don't even feel like it don't even feel like dealing with them little bastards today so what I wanted to show you guys was a cool bag system it's something I've been working with for a while about six months ago uh, a friend of mine Don from Facebook uh, my Facebook group we were sitting there chatting about backpacks and everything else, and he suggested that I try the ILBE. And that was a system that I had never even really considered, so I got to looking into it, and um, ever since he suggested it to me, and everything I'd ever seen on it, I really, really liked. So, a couple weeks back, I went ahead and decided to uh, make a couple trades and get the main bag and tried out the main bag and I really liked it. I mean the thing was just solid so I went ahead and bought the assault pack uh, for it and then I also went ahead and got the 65 liter seal line bag for it. But anyway, if you guys have not had a chance to look at these bags I strongly recommend that you do because these things are absolutely awesome. This is the very first bag that I've ever owned where the waist belt actually works. Uh, you have this thing fully loaded up and you strap it on. It actually sits on your hips and distributes that weight the way it should. All the weight isn't on your shoulders. So it's very, very comfortable. I'm really, really liking it. It has that nice internal frame. And you see all this padding back here. And you see how thick this thing is. So anyway, I'm going to give you a couple close-up looks of this thing and show you just a little bit of features on it. First things first, like I said, look how thick the padding is on that waist belt. Absolutely amazing. It's stiff, but it's comfortable. You cinch this thing down, and I'm telling you, it sits on your hips and that weight is just distributed like nobody's business. 80 pounds in this thing feels like 40 pounds and I'm not even I'm not even kidding when I say that. Now the same goes for the uh, shoulder straps. Real thick. Very comfortable. Alright so one of the things that I like about this that a lot of people you know you may not and you may really like it I don't know but the fact is, is the top of this bag is actually referred to as the lid. And this lid actually comes all the way off of the bag. And you can take this off and it also holds a good amount of gear on the inside of this thing. And like I said, the lid comes completely off. You have a nice zipper in the back here. And you can store a good amount of supplies in this thing. This is actually where I keep all my my cooking implements, water bottles and things like that, as well as my fire kits and my ever trusty schmog, schmog, whatever, whatever the hell the thing's called. And as I said before, another kind of cool feature is the fact that you can buy this assault pack separately or you can buy it with the main bag and it also comes off and you can use it as an individual bag you know for a um, day trip or overnight bag whatever you have 
and uh, you know it'll hold a good amount of stuff you know I don't really have a whole lot in this right now it's basically empty minus a few little odd and ends but um, like I said um, it, it's it's really pretty cool the fact that you can take that off and use it on the fly but the uh, the fact remains is most of your stuff is going to fit in this main bag right here so a lot of people don't even bother buying this individual pack and a closer look of the assault pack got this small zipper on the front I actually have zero items in that thing right there and on this side opened up got a few little odd and ends a couple little packs of ramen noodles uh saw some bank line just some miscellaneous crap i'm still trying to figure out how i want to actually pack this thing i know that i want to keep this thing light with virtually nothing in it because when this thing is on your back and with that with the main pack the way that it's set up it rides very vertical and it distributes that weight really well on your hips but if you load this thing down a lot that is when it's going to actually start pulling you back and you're going to have to lean forward and hunch over and that's when it becomes very uncomfortable so i'm going to do my best to keep this thing virtually empty unless i need to use it you know like i said on the fly or anything like that a lot of times probably won't even bother having it who knows and here we are with the main bag oh look yusha's in the background that's my daughter's horse now you know but anyway, on the bottom of this bag, you can see I keep, you know, my Gore-Tex rolled up. I also have some rope. That's for my hammock and everything else. Um, on the side, keep my hawk in there. All that good stuff. All right, so now it is time for one of the coolest things since spam a can. Let's get into this thing and dig into it here. not going to go into what I keep in this thing. I'm going to try to stick with the, the bag itself. You guys know what I keep in my bag. I've never made that a secret, and I've actually got a video on what I keep. Anyway, here's the 65 liter seal line dry bag. Look at the size of this thing. You can fit everything, including your kitchen sink, in this thing. Now this thing I am going to go ahead and open up and show you what I've got in here because like I said I want you to see what all you can actually fit in this thing and I haven't touched you know the top of this thing you can still fit a lot of other stuff in it as well. Look at that still holding the seal and I've unrolled it that's awesome now watch this. For anybody that thought I was playing when I said that I haven't gotten to the top of this, look, there's still a good amount of room in that thing. Anyway, I have got most of you guys have seen in my other videos that I always keep my MSS or military sleep system in a dry bag. Now, the nice thing about this is the fact that, you know, like you see, I can actually fit it in this dry bag. Let me open up this seal here. be kind of a pain in the ass to get out. It was not this hard getting in. Must be when I compressed the air out of it. it got wide on me. I don't know. You'll see when I go put it back in there. It's not really that difficult to get in. Now, obviously, 90% of the year, you ain't even going to need that. So, but in the bottom of this thing, I have 
multiple changes of clothes. Well, not multiple, but a couple pairs of clothes, uh, scarves, hats. Things that's going to keep me warm and dry, you know, all that fun stuff. Now, if you guys have ever looked at these bags before, or if you haven't looked at these bags before, turn them inside out, they're orange for signaling for help. Most of you guys know my, my position on orange when it comes to signaling for help, but you know what? If you're hurt, use what you got. All right, now you close these things just like you would a normal dry bag. Um, ah, crap. You know what? I was going to show you that putting the sleep system back in there. Oh, well, point is you can get the damn thing in. You can get it out. Might be a little bit of a pain, but either way, it's dry. Um, the thing that I like the most about these bags is the fact that it's got this seal on it, okay? When it's in the open state, air can get in, air can get, well, air can get out, but I don't believe air goes in. Um, when it's closed, obviously no air is getting in or out. The cool thing is, open that thing up, just sit on it. Let the weight of your fat butt do all the work for you. Press it down till it stops, till you don't hear the air coming out anymore. Turn your seal closed. She's good and compressed. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the uh, ILBE because I tell you what, if you're in the market for a new pack, the uh, you cannot go wrong with this thing this thing is awesome it's a beast i think it's going to hold up for a long time uh, now is the time to get your hands on one of these if you want one because i do believe that the uh, the marine corps has discontinued these and are going to be going with a new pack it's basically the same style of pack except for they've added external smaller pockets and everything else to it which if you want external smaller pockets Obviously, this thing is lined with mollies, so all you got to do is buy some smaller pouches, molly them on, and you're good to go. Um, if you get a complete system of one of these, uh, I think you can get them for about $100, $150, all the way up to $200 for the full set, okay? I'm talking the lid, the, the waist belt, the dry bag, the assault pack, the radio pouch the uh, hydration bladder, all of it. Um, or if you're on a budget, you can piece this thing together. You can get the main bag and the lid for around $65. And then if you so choose to add the dry bag, you can get the dry bag. The dry bag itself is pretty expensive. This thing is like $65 by itself. But I tell you what, it's worth it. Um, I'm a big believer in dry bags. You guys have seen um, my videos in the past where I, I, I always, always use dry bags. I've been cold and I've been wet and it's not fun. I don't want to go down that road, you know, if I don't have to. Um, $65 is a little steep for a dry bag, but you know what? If it's going to keep me dry and it's going to keep me warm or if it's going to keep my daughter dry or my daughter warm or my wife, that $65 is nothing pay that every day. Um, the assault pack, I think you can get those for about 35, 40 bucks. Um, the lids, you can get those for 10 to 15 dollars as well as the, uh, the waist belt. So like I said, you can actually piece the thing together if you don't want to buy it all at one time. But it's a nice bag guys, it really is. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, have a good one.